Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Saturday, August 12th, 2023, and we are back with our MLB Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these MLB videos every single day, along with the NFL and college football, and that's back on. We're 6-0 so far in the NFL preseason, went undefeated yesterday, 2-0 day yesterday. Uh, we're also coming off big winning years, the NBA, college basketball, and a winning year in the NHL. Uh, we're going after our first 10,000 subscribers, our first six months on YouTube. So I'm really excited to have you all here. Uh, let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, made some serious money. Went 3-0 yesterday, clean sweep across the board. We had Reds money line, easy winner, never a doubt. <clears throat> Astros minus 1.5 plus 104, another easy winner, never a doubt. And the Rangers, uh, it was tight, but we got a win. We got a minus 115 win there. So 3-0 yesterday. Uh, we went up almost, two, almost three units, about 2.92 units yesterday. We're up 8.23 units overall for the year. Uh, we're 5-1 our last two days. Love to see it. Uh, we have two picks today in the MLB. I'm not really loving the slate, like in all reality. I mean, there's some games I might be adding on a little bit later. If I do, you check my Twitter. My Twitter is linked in the description below. Members, you'll obviously have those texted to you along with everything else. Um, so... First off, I'll start with our first bet of the day, which is going to be the Diamondbacks, minus a run and a half at plus 134 versus the Padres. First off, Gallon's on the mound today, and he's fantastic. He, I think he's the leading Cy Young candidate right now um, due to odds. Um, also, and he's going against Rich Hill. Rich Hill's about 1,000 years old. He should not be in the MLB, especially after you watch him against the Dodgers. I mean, he got lit up. Six ways from Sunday, and the fact is that the, the fact is that they have a, the, the Diamondbacks have a major pitching advantage here. Now you might be saying, "What about their bullpen?" Now their bullpen is a little bit worrisome, but I don't think it'll matter because I don't think Rich Hill is any good whatsoever, and Zach Gallon can cover a lot of your flaws. And I mean, a lot of your flaws. Um, on top of that, Diamondbacks offense is far more consistent. They're top. They're, they're basically the top half of the league in every single statistical category. While the Padres, they have the names, but they just don't score. Yesterday they scored a little bit, but the fact is they're just they're not consistent on the road. On top of that, the Diamondbacks are at home and they got blown out. I see a bounce back coming here. Buy low, sell high. I'm gonna take the uh, Diamondbacks here minus 1.5 versus the Padres at plus 134. And next we have the over eight in the Rangers and uh, Giants game minus 114 are the odds that I have. I don't trust Haney whatsoever for the tech, for the Rangers. I just don't do it. I don't trust it whatsoever. Um, I, I, don't, I think San Francisco's offense is going to explode after a tough offensive day yesterday. Luckily for us, we have the Rangers in that game. But the fact is, I see them bouncing back here a little bit today. Plus, the bullpen for the Rangers is shaky at best. They have shirted up a little bit, but even so, they don't have a very good bullpen. Um, the Rangers, on the other hand, are the best offense in the league. And they have Cobb. They're going against Cobb on the mound, who's been very solid. And the, and the Giants do have a very solid bullpen. But the fact is, when you have the best offense in the league, I don't see them being held down to two runs back-to-back -back days. Um, I see them having a, a nice offensive game here today. Um, and even though even though they're playing in solid pitching and solid bullpen and on the road, when you have a, a lineup like this, one through nine, that's as stacked as it is, you, you can't hold this team down for very long. I see that going – I think I think this game goes way over. I can see this game being 4-4 middle of the fifth inning uh, just because of how good the offense is for Texas and honestly how piss poor Haney and this bullpen has been for the Rangers all year. Um, I like the over eight here. Now, like I said, we might be adding some more picks throughout the day. Members, you'll have those texts here. Everybody else should get my Twitter. My Twitter is linked in the description below. Um, so a quick recap what we have. We have the Diamondbacks at minus 1.5 plus 134. And we have the over eight in the Texas, in the Rangers and the Giants game at minus 114. So let's go lock in those picks, y'all. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check those other videos.